Ah, nitroglycerin, or as I like to call it, the explodey chemical, due to the well-known characteristic of being highly explosive. But let me tell you, there's a lot more neat things about this chemical that not many people know about. So first, let's get through some of the basic chemistry part. Nitroglycerin, otherwise known as nitroglycerol, glycerol nitrate, and many more other names, is a chemical that looks like this, and has a formula that looks like this. It has a melting point of around 14 degrees and a boiling point around 50 degrees with a density around 1.6 grams per cubic centimeter. If you touch it, breathe it, or eat it, it will cause a massive headache combined with the fact that it is an acute toxin. As I've mentioned above, this chemical is rather explosive in nature. How explosive you may ask? Well, let me show you! And that was only 3 ounces! Nitroglycerin is a contact explosive, meaning you can detonate it by literally hitting it with anything. The reason why nitroglycerin is so explosive comes down to the fact of these nitrogen bonds right here. They're not particularly stable. Its massive explosion can be attributed to its high rate of decomposition. When it decomposes, it releases energy. This energy, along with gases nitroglycerin decomposes into, likes to expand. Expanding very fast in all directions with a lot of energy causes an explosion. So that's why you can end up flying to the nearest hospital if you accidentally knock a hammer into a jug of nitroglycerin. But how did it get so well known for its explosiveness? Well, I'll tell you once we get there, okay? So it all started with an Italian chemist named Ascanio Sobrero discovering the chemical by mixing glycerol, nitric acid, and sulfuric acid together. He observed that this chemical was highly explosive and too volatile to be of good use, noting that it would be unlikely to be used as a viable explosive. But you know what they say, if there's a will, there's a way, and a Swedish guy named Alfred Noble produced a liquid mixture of nitroglycerin and gunpowder to be used as a commercial explosive. However, this wasn't any safer and people were still being blown up. They were blowing themselves so much that it was banned in a lot of places. So the next logical step is to find a safer way to blow things up. So this came in the form of dynamite. This form would later be a more popular choice in nitroglycerin explosives since it was indeed the much safer way and better way to transport it than whatever this liquid was. Nitroglycerin would find its way into the military as a propellant for firearms and explosives as well. But it proved to be too volatile and was phased out for less sensitive explosions like TNT. So that's the explosive history of nitroglycerin. But did you know that there's another use for this chemical that does the opposite of exploding people in the bits? Yeah, that's right, heart medication. In the same notes by Escaño, he wrote that the compound causes severe headaches, suggesting it could be a vasodilator. Several years later, after lots of testing, nitroglycerin did turn out to be a very good vasodilator, making it the perfect remedy for heart conditions like angina. If you didn't know, a vasodilator is something that causes your blood vessels to dilate or widen, allowing more blood flow. Angina is a heart condition that is related to reduced blood flow to the heart. You can see why this works so well. Nitroglycerin continues to be an essential drug to treat angina till this day, being available in pills, patches, and liquid injection. But what's the difference? Well, there is no difference. They're the same picture. It's just that the drug is a very, 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 very dilute and safe version of the explosive, allowing you to eat it with the benefits of nitroglycerin without having to worry about the fact that you just ate a chemical that can explode with the hit of a hammer.